A topic I sometimes hear guys think about when they feel the like progress in their bodybuilding efforts is that they think they have too little testosterone and that's why they make so little progress. So today we are going to talk about testosterone, what it actually is, how you can tell how much of it you have, what the signs and symptoms are and what you can do about it. So first of all, what is testosterone? Testosterone is a male hormone that plays an important role in the building of muscle. Basically, the more testosterone you have, the more muscle you can potentially build. Now, in men, their testosterone level peaks at the age of 20 and after that slowly falls down over time. The normal range for men um, about how much testosterone they should have in their bodies lies between 300 and 1000 nanograms per deciliter of their blood serum. Now some of us may be lucky and may be on the upper end of the scale while some of us are more unfortunate and maybe on the lower end of the scale but as long as you are between these two numbers you are in the normal range. Now how can you tell um, if you are below this range and there is a list of signs and symptoms by which you can tell if you are indeed have too little testosterone and this uh, list goes as follows. First of all there are problems with erections then a possible uh, low sex drive. On the third place we have mood disturbances like for example depressions. Then uh, on place four of course a loss of muscle size and strength. On number five osteoporosis which means your bones are thinning. And on number six an increase in body fat. On number seven uh, difficulty with concentration and possible memory loss and on number eight, sleep difficulties. If you match some of these symptoms, then you indeed may have too low testosterone, but if you watched my video on overtraining here, then you will have noticed that some of these symptoms are similar. So uh, what might seem like you having too little testosterone may indeed be um, you training too much instead. So this list only gives you a first idea um, about you possibly having too little testosterone and it is not a sure thing on which you should act on. What you should do when you do believe you have too little testosterone and match some of these signs and symptoms is to visit your doctor and your doctor will do a blood test with you. And in this blood test, he can measure for sure how much testosterone you really have. And if it really is too little, then help you with certain medications that um, will help to rise your testosterone level up. The last thing you should do is to uh, read this list of symptoms and then think, hey, I really have too little testosterone and then ask your friend at the gym for one of those vitamins that boost testosterone level and then boost your testosterone level through the roof because it never was too low and now you have so much testosterone like a raging bull. Because um, while it's nice to have testosterone on the higher end of this 300 to 1000 nanograms per deciliter scale that I just talked about, too much testosterone is not so nice because it comes with its own side effects as well. And these go like this. First of all, there is a link between too much testosterone and baldness, uh, where people who have a certain genetic disposition um, and then too much testosterone can lose their hair prematurely. Then um, there is a link between too much testosterone and acne. So if you are a teenager and you already have acne and then apply those vitamins, you may uh, have a lot more acne than you have now. Then there is a possibility of aggression. Too much or high levels of testosterone have in studies repeatedly been linked with aggression. Then there is the possibility of liver disease. 
then um, temporary uh, infertility, which is a side effect many bodybuilders who artificially boost their testosterone level experience. And finally, the rather unpleasant thought of prostate cancer. So let's summarize this. The concentration of testosterone in the male body normally peaks at the age of 20 and after that slowly drops off. This concentration lies between 300 and 1000 nanograms per deciliter of your blood serum and everything that is between these two numbers is considered normal. If you believe you have too little testosterone in your body and you matched a number of the symptoms we talked about, then this only gives you an indication about if you really have too little testosterone and you should see your doctor to get a real blood test done and make sure. The last thing you should do is trying to medicate yourself because this could make things a lot worse. And this concludes this video. As always, I hope it was of a bit of help to you. Thanks for watching. Until next time. Bye bye.